This is the kind of stuff that Cobb is doing to stay ahead of the game. Cobb understands the, the, the magnitude of the problem and understands that in order to continue making things like intakes or exhaust systems, you have to sort of play ball. So this is, this is awesome to see. These are really nice parts. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Raptor build. Today we are going to install an intake and the air scoop from Cobb. They were kind enough to send us their new uh, carbon fiber HCT intake along with the air scoop. Let's get to it. So when we got our 2023 Raptor, we kind of came up with this plan for how we wanted to modify it. But really it was like, what do, what do we want? What do I want in my truck as a daily driver? And one of those things is a bunch of stuff from Cobb tuning. So I know, I've known Cobb for many years through my WRX and STI days. I uh, have continued to stay in touch. They make a ton of great Raptor stuff. I am eagerly waiting the access port for the Gen 3. But in the meantime, they just released an intake, uh, among, among other things, for this Raptor. They did send us this stuff, but we promised to only give honest feedback. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to start cutting stuff open. Universal hitch cover with shack also, let's see. This I think is the rear for like the receiver. Oh yeah, that's cool. This is beefy, I love this. This is one of the things I love packaging and this is one of the things I love Cobb is doing this. There used to be a company called CoreView that was doing this type of packaging. That might be it. But it's like this plastic sheet. Hmm. And if you got something that you need to suspend in a box, you fold those under and it like locks it in there. So that's pretty cool. All right, this is bad. That'll be great. Cobb stickers, packaged by Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. The intake scoop, uh, intake scoop bracket. So hardware. This one was packaged by Dwight. That's a nice touch. Include who packed it? Yeah, I like that. So Cobb has like a line of products that are composite or plastic, and then. They have their Redline series, which is often carbon fiber. We asked them to send us what they would like us to show off. And hoping, of course, that it would be the carbon fiber stuff. <laughs> That's beautiful. Very cool. Wow. So I think the OEM scoop has an issue where it will like actually collapse a little bit. Um, so this is a little bit of a solution to that. This gasket obviously is well supported. So that's beautiful. I love like a riveted on tag. Obviously we do that. Very nice. But this is the big deal. So these are the decals to demonstrate that the air scoop and um, I don't think the intake yet is technically has a carb EO number, but that's what this shows. The carb EO number for this part, Cobb is like basically leading the industry in being com becoming compliant with some of those regulations. Um, and it's what's allowing them to continue selling products like this and it's really starting to trip up some other manufacturers. So I hope that for them, that investment is paying off because it's really setting a great example for the industry. So this is the intake scoop. I'll set that aside. Oh, the packaging nerd in me already. I can just tell. <laughs> I've got my foam. Beautiful. I almost don't even want to take it out of the box. All right, so this feels like an air box lid. I love how they've got everything bagged in foam and labeled too careful it's the shiny carbon fiber very cool this experience unboxing this is like unbelievable you're both packaging nerds i don't want to say i'm just as excited about nice packaging as i am about nice products but like it's close these threaded inserts are molded in so it's just a really nice part The black hose clamps are a nice touch. Um, this is, so this is interesting. So this is like their HCT intake. And I don't know, I'll, we'll have to look it up and we'll put it on the screen. Okay. <laughs> HCT is the Cobb Tuning Hydrocarbon Trap. All right. Hydrocarbon Trap, HCT. So they've got all their install guides on a, like a Confluence site, like a central database, really easy to, to browse. List of tools needed. Parts list with quantities, which is really helpful. 
and then step by step with photos. So like doing that and figuring that out, this is the kind of stuff that Cobb is doing to stay ahead of the game when it comes to compliance on that stuff. Yeah, I shouldn't speak out of turn, but there's like, there are some companies that are just like, we should be able to do whatever we want to do, like, you know, come and get us kind of thing. And Cobb understands the, the, the magnitude of the problem and understands that in order to continue making things like intakes or exhaust systems, you have to sort of play ball. Otherwise you're just gonna get shut down. So this is, this is awesome to see. These are really nice parts. So looking forward to seeing how that goes together. There's one last piece. The filter. Oh, there we are. Cool. Oh, one more thing. This looks like uh, probably a uh, airbox gasket, if I had to guess. All right, so we've got everything unboxed. We've kind of taken an inventory here. We have what we need to do this install. Next step is we'll pop the hood and pull the stock intake out. I'm done with people putting stuff on my cart. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to test this and see how it works. I'll fucking throw your shit out. <laughs> Put your camera on there. It's Let's go. Let me see this sticker. Nice. Good. There are kids around, so you can't really actually curse. So this is what we're replacing this. This, this, with a Cobb system. So where these two intake pipes are merging right here, we're gonna have one coming from Cobb here, and then this one's gonna come up and over, and they're both gonna enter the filter independently versus together here. So we've got some sensors on here. I think there's an intake temp sensor back here that we'll pull off. Pretty straightforward. All right, so I disconnected the uh, air intake temp sensor harness, which is step one in the install. And then I popped these two clips on the airbox lid. So I've got these two disconnected here. Pull this out. There's a little hose here connected to this coolant reservoir. It's pretty straightforward. All right, so this is the temp sensor. It's got a little tab here. We got to lift it up over this bump and then probably twist it. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So just one thing I'm noticing is, and in and my 2018 had these swirl generators, they're called, kind of like a little turbine shape insert in each of these intake tubes. And Cobb mentions it in their guide to say that removal is basically optional. Uh, but I'm noticing that in our 2023, they're not included. So Cobb may have included this because they weren't sure or some vehicles have them, but just to note, mine does not. We're not gonna go step by step, but the next step uh, Cobb says, separate the outer ring of the airbox from the gasket from the intersection. So that's, this is the gasket that'll use on the lid. But then it says, stick the intersection to a friend slash pet slash loved one. <laughs> Who should we stick it on? Maddie? Probably should stick it on Maddie. Oh, I don't want to mess up his jacket or oh, something. That's fair. Here. That's fair. That's fair. I'll just get mad. It looks so nice. Yeah. Uh-oh. Nothing to see. Nothing's happening. <laughs> we could trick somebody into sitting on it. Part of Cobb's install. <laughs> I feel like we're featuring this too much. It's yeah. just a funny, clever thing. It looks like a square, it's not, so it does only fit one way. I peeled back the corner, and then we'll kind of work our way around. Nice. Appears to be a dry filter versus oiled. A lot of filters start as, as uh, white like this, and like if you've seen a K&N filter, the red is actually the color of the oil. This step is to just insert these HCTs, the hydrocarbon tubes, into here. And it looks like they just kind of sit like that. There's no kind of indexing or anything. Done. Seems very plug and play. Cobb's been designing hard parts like this for many years and they're good at it. Like us, they are users themselves, so they understand when things are a headache mm. or difficult or they look easy in the install guide, but they actually suck. They're good about mitigating that stuff. So this is really clever. I see how this is. The reason we didn't have to clip these tubes in or anything, we got these threaded inserts in the filter. This is gonna slide, give you a view, through here. We're gonna sandwich the flange of those tubes using the airbox lid. Nice, nice finished look though. Protecting your carbon.
All right, so we've got the airbox lid assembly kind of here done. Uh, I'm gonna install the couplers on here, and then I think it's gonna be a matter of getting installed in the engine bay with the tubes. So uh, at some point there's gonna be a step where we'll take a pause and install this temp sensor, but uh, we'll just keep it rolling. It, was <laughs> <laughs> it takes all the fun out of f***ing wrenching, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Leo over there looking like National Geographic photographer. <laughs> He's trying to there. sneak up on me. Yeah. Just gonna go harvest a deer after this. <laughs> no, I don't want to clean it. <laughs> you can find somebody to do that for you. Boy. All the Gucci stuff. It's uh, so is... pretty. See what the install guy said. Break a nail. Actually, this one's already broken. You're rugged. There you go. So this is like the cob bracket that's holding down the front of this, but because these two holes just had like body clips in here, there's no threaded feature that really locks it down. So that was that small bracket that we just installed that slips in here and has two threaded features in it. So as we continue with the installation, we're gonna be actually able to put some bolts through here and sandwich it in a really kind of rigid, positive manner. Lines up very well there. You're dealing with like couplers and tubes it's always kind of tricky because there's like so many different degrees of freedom make sure you get these seated all the way in <laughs> anything on this car will be thrown in the trash with no regard for what it is I read that I just put all my trash on the car. <laughs> <laughs> I read that I just put that issue on the car. No test, no. <laughs> I'm guessing they tell us before tightening these clamps down to put that little bracket in here. So these are well. That's what that extra hardware is for. <laughs> Max got me flustered. Oh, well, come on. It's kind of nice that Cobb did this, tied the two tubes together. There's so many different ways these tubes could end up. Having a bracket that ties them together kind of forces you to do it one way. It makes the installation look nice. Now to decide if I want to try and get that one or let it live there. It went down pretty far. I think we're going to get it. I think it'll just fall out when I move. I'm no stranger to that. When I'm installing intercoolers or intakes, I make no effort to hide the hose clamp piece. Some people would spin these to the bottom. Just for aesthetics? Just for aesthetics. Those years are behind me. <laughs> and now I just like ease of installation, maintenance, troubleshooting. I'm not like haphazard about it. All right, last step is to plug this sensor back in. What are your thoughts? 
you hear it? it? Sounds the same to me. Yeah, me too. But we're inside and it's not under load. All right, so that is it for today. Super easy installation. That's the Cobb Tuning Redline Carbon Fiber Intake System uh, with their HCT tubes for this 2023 Raptor. And then also the Redline Carbon Fiber Air Scoop. So again, you saw it. Both of those installs were super easy, super slick. I'm looking forward to driving it and I'm looking forward to getting after the intercooler and hopefully an access port sometime soon as well from Cobb. So check back next Monday. That this worked. Oh, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's the inside of that cob and Oh, gosh. You can look at your chair. That's no. dangerous. You gotta look before you sit down. How long were you waiting for that? I told Maddie to tell me when you got here. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>